Hi, I'm John. I'm a carpenter and this is my shop. So I'm going to show how we would um, traditionally sand molding uh, by hand uh, with a regular um, soft pad like this. Uh, and then I'm going to show how uh, we would use the Ecosilk Plus half inch pads, which are flexible um, and soft to get in the contours and save us some time versus trying to do it all by hand. That's hand sanding. I'm gonna now show the Ecosilk Plus uh, we're going to start with a fine, um, and it's a hook and loop, four hole for the dust collector. So one of the things that I really like about the Ecosilk Plus pads um, is that they conform to the molding as you sand. Um, so they will, as you press down, uh, mold themselves to the shape of this molding. So I'm able to sand uh, the entirety of this section in one pass and even wrap over and up into the cove here or around the, the corner here like that. Whereas with a traditional sanding block, I'd have to do each one of these parts separately and I would have to conform, make the pad conform with my fingers to those shapes and then also potentially be wearing down other spots of the profile inadvertently because I'm putting a little bit of pressure here versus the Ecosilk has, a, you know, the, the pressure is going to be distributed evenly along here as you go back and forth. Um, so it saves saves quite a bit of time there um, versus having to do each each portion of this on its own. So we're going to switch to the uh, Ecosilk Plus Superfine um, and just do a final pass on this. So as a final step before we paint this, um, we want to remove any residual swirl marks that might be along the uh, length of the molding. So we're going to switch from the Ecosilk Plus pad to these Unilon pads. So they're a non-woven abrasive. They're a bit finer than the super fine here. We're going to start with the maroon and then work our way up to the gray uh, and just get this to be silky smooth so it paints up. So like the Ecosilk Plus pads, these have some thickness to them. So you're still able to get in and conform to the moldings um, and get a very, very fine finish uh, without scratches that will um, pretty much look good in any paint that you would apply to this. Uh, you wouldn't be depending on a self-leveling kind of product to get you a glassy finish. Um, you've already done that with your sanding. So this is a pretty nice, um, Way to, way to end the sanding process. Um, 
And as you look over it in breaking light, you don't see any scratches, any grooves. Um, everything is pretty even all the way across and it'll look great.